Hey, what's happening, folks? Textboy Not One here, and we are back with another collection completion video. Today, we're doing the 97 overall Team MVP Muhammad Wilkerson Jets collection. It's pretty easy. I want to say I spent around 20,000 coins on it. I happen to have some gold cards in my reserves and some silvers. Nothing too crazy. Uh, David Harris, around 6,000 coins. He's expensive, but not that expensive. Like, not unlike the Jared Allen or the Indomitian Sioux, 6,000 coins is manageable. Ellis Lancaster, I pulled him out of a pack. Currently, he's at 5,000 coins, so if you're going to do this collection, buy him now because his price was sitting at around 13,000 coins a day ago. So his price is dropping slowly, so if you're going to do the collection, best chance to do it is right now while his price is cheap. Who else is expensive in this collection? I got Sheldon Richardson for about 1,000 coins. He's around 3,000. It's not major, but still a nice little snipe there. And you got some gold cards you're going for last. Antonio Holmes, about 2,000 coins. You have Steven Peterman going for right around 4,000 coins. Uh, Brickshaw Ferguson, 3,000 coins. So it's not that expensive of a collection. I probably, if I do the math properly, it cost me 20k to do it. So I pretty much doubled my profits up. Not double technically, but I made my coins back. I made my coins back from my initial investment. And you guys may look at collections differently than I do. I pretty much look at it as a whole. I get 20,000 coins for completing it, so I have 20,000 coins to play with. So if I get done for, for the collection for that price or cheaper, that's profit plus whatever I sell with Hummel Wilkerson for. So let's check out this Wilkerson dude. See how good. Oh my god, I can't wait to get this guy. He has such. Oh, I just love this guy as, as a player and as a card in this game. He has, he's so good. 97 overall team MVP. Mohammed Wilkerson, who happens to be Muslim, so I did not know that, but he's Muslim. 78 speed, that's just amazing. 96 tackle, 95 power move, 96 block shed. I might keep this guy. <laughs> I might keep this dude on my team. That is going to be a great card to have. I happen to have his 95 overall team captain card, so I'm going to go ahead and send this card to my actives and compare the two. All right, so usually I run these defensive ends that play in a 3-4 defensive scheme at the nose guard spot, considering that in that 3-4 scheme, they pretty much play the inside technique most of the time because these guys are usually bigger guys. I don't like when people tell me this guy's defensive end. He's not really. Robert Quinn's defensive end, so is Greg Hardy, so is Julius Peppers. Muhammad Wilkerson, Justin Smith, all those big, strong guys usually play inside just because they're so much bigger, but in a 3-4 scheme, they're technically defensive ends, but in real life, they're pretty much the three technique, which is pretty much, if this game went to a number system, that might be really, really useful, but that's too much football talk. <laughs> too much, too much inside football talk for one video. So, I like this guy's car. 97 overall, 95. I checked the price on the auction block, and I actually got a good deal for this uh, 95 overall one. It was going for 20,000 coins. I bought it immediately. Now it's at 35,000, and the playoff one is at 40,000. So, these prices are very close, which means his car should be very close wise in uh, attributes. So you got pretty much a better speed. 78 to 75, that's very nice, especially coming out the middle. Usually those guards I can't really handle guys with good speed and good block shifts, so that's actually nice there. Good strength up by one. Agility is pretty much the same, so acceleration plus two. Eh, it's not really that big of a deal in my opinion. Awareness is the same. Keep going down the line. Let's go look at all this other stuff. More important, where is the hit power to tackling? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Tackling the same 96-96. Good hit power, 73. That's not really good, but it's, it's okay. I can deal with that. He's a big fat slow guy so if he gets a good hit on you probably from the ball anyway but i don't really think that should be higher than it is right there power moving up by two is that really useful i'm not too sure we'll find out and play some games with it let's keep going down finesse the same block shit plus one now that probably might be the reason why his price is pretty much the same 35,000 to 40,000 coins, only 5k difference, so you're really paying the extra 5,000 coins for the overall boost, so that block shit really is not that big of a deal, when it's only up by one, so is his pursuit. Alright, now play recognition is pretty huge, went up by six there, which means that this guy might be good reading those screens, because usually the play recognition on screens are huge, you got some defensive tackles, Albert Hainsworth, you got Vince Wolford, guys like that, that know a screen's coming, they'll run to the running back immediately and make a tackle, or catch an interception, so those, the guys with low play recognition don't make those plays, and that kind of can cost you a game there, so having an 84 play right there is really huge, is that worth the extra 5,000 coins? I'm not too sure, but it can't hurt to have that boost by six, so keep going down the line, and it's be stamina and injury, stamina 81 81. Okay, that's not bad. He's pretty athletic. He stays on the field, looks like a, uh, for a little bit. So this guy might be situational only. Maybe when you need a good run stuffer, or maybe we need a guy that can go out there and give a good pass rush. But I don't think he can be on the field pretty much for the entire game like some guys can, like this Derek Thomas or this Clay Matthews. So not a bad card, pretty good injury. So the only key and big attribute boost were the play recognition that was up by six. You see some speed boost up by three. 
and the one that was kind of insignificant was the block shed being up by one. Now, with all that said, is this card really worth the extra 5,000 coins it's going for? And I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, it's worth the extra 5,000 coins it's going for, considering that, really, like 5,000 coins not really anything. You can do that solo challenge that just came out with, make 5,000 coins by Muhammad Wilkerson. This guy has high block shed, so that's actually really nice. What I'm going to do, actually, is sell my team captain one and keep the playoff one, just because I like this guy's card. Good power move, good block shed, pretty solid speed. Play him at the defensive tackle slot because he has good speed, good block shots. Not a, that's going to be a good combination to have right there. So I'm definitely going to keep this guy on my team. And like I said, this collection only cost me right around 20, 20, 25,000 coins. I'm going to say 25 on the high side, 20 being the, pretty much the low side, somewhere in between that. So I actually got a good deal with this guy's card. I got basically a free Muhammad Wilkerson, so I'm cool with that. Well, that is the video, folks. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Muhammad Wilkerson collection completion. And hopefully you guys can make a decision whether or not you want to go ahead and buy this guy's card or not. I am the Texas boy. I am out of this mother bleeper. Peace.